Hey, 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 happy day 672 of What's She Up To Now? Shannon Horn Nelson here, also known as Pajama Grandma, sharing the journey from offline brick and mortar corporate America to the online world of business. Going from yeah, three-piece suits and uniforms and meetings and structure and formality and having to do things somebody else's way to doing things my own way in my pajamas, doing what I want, what I want, where I want, with whomever I want, wearing what I want. Today I want to talk about scarcity. Scarcity and lack. And to me, Black Friday, which is today, it happens to be today, this year, is the epitome of scarcity and lack. Um, I get it. I, I understand that we have been inundated with the belief that there isn't enough for everybody, that there's only one pie, and if you don't get your piece of the pie, you're just SOL. But is that true? Is that really true? Is there a lack of money in the world? You would think there is. Based on how the vast majority of us, me included a lot of the time, behave, you would think that there is a scarcity and a lack of money. But but is there? No. There's, there's trillions and trillions of dollars in the world, in the universe. And more is being created all the time with the click of a button. The button on a computer now creates money at the you know, the drop of a hat, the drop of a pin. It's easy for more money to be created. All we need to do is create more value in the world to attract more money to us. But so often we're living in this lack and scarcity, which is, you know, promoted by things like Black Friday. Black Friday is all about, hey, there's a limited quantity. There's not enough. You have to hurry. You have to come in this limited time frame or you're not going to get yours. And it works for business. It works to help people get off the dime and make a decision. It, and that's why businesses and marketers for decades or centuries have used scarcity and lack to motivate people to make a decision, to make a choice. If we don't feel enough pain with something, we just don't change. We don't make a choice. We don't do anything about it. We just keep going about our life until we notice that we need to take an action or do something about it. We need to make a decision about it. And lack and scarcity being introduced by marketers because it's pretty much a man, it's totally a man-made thing to encourage people to make decisions and to sell more products and services and actually to help people to improve their lives. All scarce and lackity isn't, um, isn't, it isn't artificially created. If I am doing one-on-one -on -one coaching and personal development with people, or if I'm helping people with their businesses to supersize and grow their business one-on-one, -on -one, I only have 24 hours in a day. I can personally, one-on-one, -on -one, only help so many people. So if I say I have room for one more or two more coaching students, that's, that's, it's scarcity and lack because I can only take two people out of eight billion, but I also, it, it's real because I only have so many hours where I can personally interact with somebody one-on-one. -on -one. Now, there's a lot of different ways to creatively spread myself around and, and not have to do one-on-one -on -one coaching, but that's a whole different story. There's still only a certain number of people that I can serve personally on a higher platform type um, situation. So scarcity and lack can be real or can be artificial. A lot of it is super artificial, right? Like all these Black Friday sales, hey, limited quantity meaning we only ordered this many in the store and you have to come and get them now at this price or you're not going to get them. Well, is that really artificially created? No, it's, it's created to generate a response. It's created to have people make a decision. And it's really, really effective. It's been really, really effective. It's been so effective over the decades that it's gone from being one day Black Friday to I think a lot of people's Black Fridays started last weekend or on Monday. And they'll go through Cyber Monday and... and I can't remember what it is, Service Saturday or whatever it is. It's now a whole weekend plus Monday event around scarcity and lack and sense of urgency to get people off the dime to buy. Um, you know, if you're running a business, you want to probably do this. I, I didn't do a Black Friday special this year. I um, I didn't I didn't choose to. I didn't want to. I don't want to discount what I do at this point in my career and in my life. My time is becoming more and more valuable as I personally get less and less of it. As we age, we, we get a sense of urgency toward, I don't have 50 years anymore. I've got maybe, 12, how old am I? I'll be 60 this next year, so 
yeah, 80, 90, maybe 20, 30 years. I don't have 50 years in front of me anymore. So I'm going to be a little bit more selective with how I prioritize the use of my time. We all have to prioritize our resources and how much and how we're going to expend our time, our energy, our money, whatever resources we have, our knowledge, our wisdom, how we're going to share that, what we're going to do with that. We all have to decide that. But as we get older, we get a little more selfish or a little bit more strict with how we actually delegate and use our time. At least I have. Um, I used to waste a lot of time. I, I didn't think I was wasting a lot of time, but I'm sure I was wasting a lot of time. But now I don't like to waste hardly any time. I like to make sure that I'm doing something that makes me feel good almost all the time. Or I don't do it anymore. Isn't that fun? It's very fun. So Wild Goose Chase um, is what we talked about on the Super Size Your Business saying today and that of course comes from William Shakespeare and play Romeo and Juliet it's been famous since the 1600s okay wild goose chase an expression I don't think there's probably hardly anyone listening to me that hasn't heard or used the expression wild goose chase what does it mean it means we're running around looking for something or searching for something that might not even exist it's gonna be super hard to find we're gonna to have to run a bunch of places to find it and it might not even be it might not even exist to me wild goose chase is also you know, a definition of Black Friday. A lot of times we're chasing after this elusive thing and we have to go from place to place to place to try to find the best deal on it. Um, that's why the newspaper is this thick with all the different flyers of, of ads. And now with online shopping, it's, it's added a whole different element to it, which is, you know, more up, more my speed. Just do the online shopping and don't go into the store. But why do they have these, these sales? Why do they have these super good bargains? They want to get you into the store because they know you, like me last night, instead of buying just the coffee pot I needed I had an entire cart filled to the brim of things for Christmas other things most of which weren't on sale to and that's that's it that's the strategy get them into the store and they'll buy more get them into your business and they'll spend money at your business and they'll spend money on more than just the one thing they came for they'll because most of us go for one or two things we got to have at a certain location a certain store and then we buy a whole bunch of other stuff while we're there and that's that's the, the the purpose of Black Friday that's the purpose of Black Friday specials is to get us in get us to make a decision get us to make a choice get us to come to them um, and it's interesting even just looking at the flyers yesterday with my sister we were we were noticing things certain businesses um, have a lot of restrictions on and they might have a discount they say they have a 25% across the board discount but then you look at the list that's 200 items long of all the different categories of things that aren't included which is pretty much everything anyone would want right so they have a couple of things that you'd want to go in for and then they don't those aren't available they're sold out and then you get it and then everything else that you would want doesn't apply to the coupon or discount is that really a smart strategy in today's business I contend not so much because there's so much competition I've got lots of thoughts and theories about um, retail businesses and offline businesses and what they really need to do if they're going to survive the changes that are coming and happening to retail. That is a discussion for another day. Uh, BP Challenge today was all about herbs and you know different herbs that can impact whatever goal or objective you're trying to achieve. So we talked about herbs today and the challenge is just to go and look into, okay, Think about the result you want. Start with the end in mind. Work backwards and say, what? just Google what herbs might help weight loss. What herbs might help blood, reduce blood pressure or hypertension. What herbs might help blank. Whatever it is the thing that you want to get as a result. I don't know if there's herbs that will help you make more money unless it's make you have more energy or more focus. But there's an herb or a, that you can find to impact almost anything. So that was today's BP challenge, which is for me, blood pressure challenge to reduce my blood pressure. Uh, what else is going on? I am decorating for Christmas today. I will admit Black Friday is my day to um, enjoy my new coffee pot, maybe put a little Bailey's or something yummy in my coffee and just decorate the Christmas tree and just have some quiet, peaceful time, some Thanksgiving leftovers and just some family and fun time. What are you doing today? Are you Black Friday shopping? What is your favorite thing? What is the one thing that you're going for to look for for Black Friday? I couldn't believe that you can get 65 inch televisions for $298. To me, that was mind boggling. There were, there were things like that. I was just like, wow. Um, 
I am I'm looking at a 65 inch television and it was thousands of dollars I've got another one upstairs that was thousands of dollars and now a few years later it's like they're down to like under $300 mind-blowing uh, so there are there are deals out there there's scarcity remember if you buy a 65 inch TV you can't put it in your compact car I was laughing yesterday when people were buying them and they were trying to get them in their little compact cars I'm like yeah that's not working it was funny though it, it, there's always humor right there's always something fun or educational or a lesson to learn in every situation that we find ourselves in so look for the lesson look for the humor look for the fun in life that's it that's all I've got if I can help you in any way hit me up I am decorating for Christmas but I'd be glad to answer any question that you might have um, if you're struggling with what to do next if you want to grow and, and build your business and you don't really know how hit me up I've practiced on 27 different industries and businesses so lots of experience lots of of you know lessons learned lots of things I did wrong hey admit it lots of things I've done wrong but a lot of things I've done right too and if I don't know how to do it I know somebody that does know how to do it or can help you with your next step so hit me up that's it have an absolutely amazing holiday weekend and I will of course be with you tomorrow because I'm here every day I committed to myself that I would do this every day for this year now I'm gonna tell you right now I'm already thinking about and reevaluating um, how often I will document my journey going forward I don't know that it'll be every day next year I might um, for me I wanted to do it every day because it's a way for me to document things and keep track of what's going on but it's it's all about me it's for me to document the journey and I want to switch that over to be offering more value to you to you my listener uh, to get, make sure I'm, I'm meeting your needs and giving you more value and not just spewing out what I'm working on because sometimes it's interesting sometimes I'm sure it's just boring as all get out and who cares except me right uh, so look for maybe changes might might I might keep doing it every day I might change and not do it every day depending on what's going on because I'm getting busier and busier with helping people to achieve their dreams and goals and, and meet their challenges and overcome their challenges and as I get busier doing that is it is it really about my journey and about what I'm doing or not I don't know I, I'm hoping that you're learning something from this and you're you're figuring out that hey I don't want to be like Sharon she's a ridiculous moron about some things or hey she's really good about this but oh, I'm not listening to her about that I know some of my coaching students do that they're like yeah I'm following you on this but no especially it's really interesting especially on mindset belief related things I find and it's it's in everything and it's in ourselves as well when we need to change or look at even look at things that go against our beliefs our especially our core values and deeply held beliefs that that is the biggest challenge any of us will ever overcome believe it or not that's it have an absolutely amazing day I will catch you tomorrow bye